Hello everyone. I hope you're in for a little crazy get today. This is Katie, but she likes to be called Cutie. And so we'll call her Cutie Katie or Katie Cutie or whatever we <laughs> want to come up with today. I loved how this little cat turned out. So cute. But one of the things that I wanted to show you with this was that, uh, let me get my pieces here. Oh, I didn't want to take uh, the time that it took to show you every step because it really isn't necessary. Uh, what you do need to know and recognize if you would like to replicate this cat, copy it and uh, uh, embellish it the way you want to make it your own, is realize that you can do that with two simple things and that is a vase-like shape, just just a vase-like shape, that is the body, and an oval, okay, just, a, just an oval kind of uh, shape, okay, and that's the head. With those two shapes, you can create this cat, because the detailing is up to you, and what you want to use, but when you've got the two, the body and the head, everything else is just play, it's just fun. So you cut a vase and an oval, the size that you want to make, yours. Uh, this one, let's see, where's my ruler? This background fabric is 11, uh, by eight and a half. So let's see. The cat itself is seven and a quarter long when I put it together. And wide, it's about three and a quarter. Okay, the head's about three and a quarter. And so it's the bottom of the, of the body. Okay, so... You can see that with those two pieces, everything else is just playing with whatever you want to put on there. So cut your vase, cut you an oval, and put that down. Then decide, uh, like here, to simulate the little haunches um, that are, oh goodness, what, where's my paper? <laughs> I don't know what I do with my paper. Well, what this is, is it's an actual circle cut in half and then kind of just tweak shaped a little bit to fit inside each side. So that created the red areas in the back here that kind of like simulates the haunches, the little cat sitting on its little haunches, little legs, okay? The ears are simply a small triangle, large triangle. They're not even the same size, okay? The nose simulation is actually started out with a triangle and then with a long tail, you might say, on it. Cut. So just long enough that you want to start out with a little triangle and then come on down with a uh, little pointy nose here. Then I add a little black to the end to simulate the little end of the nose. The mouth is a, just a little triangle. The eye pieces, actually this background, not the blue, but this little background that it sits on. This is also a circle cut in half. And then on the half of the circle, you can see I sliced off one edge. I sloughed, sliced off one edge of the half circle. That left me with the curve on the outside, but a straight slant on the inside that you could fit it down. And then whatever circular or eye look that you want, you can place on top of that. Then what I did to give it a little dimension and a little more eye shape was come in with these little curved pieces here, those little red curved pieces. And uh, that gave me a little shadow out here on the edge, gave it 
more of an eye, made the eye more dimensional looking, okay? Just to uh, help identify it that that's what it is, an eye. <laughs> Little mustaches, just threads couched down. The hair is um, eyelash, black eyelash trim. Okay, that's what I used for that. Makes a perfect illusion of hair without covering the whole body in hair. It gives us the illusion that this yellow cat also has black hairy parts. I just did a little fun decoration with uh, some thread and some buttons on the front. I did a little more of the uh, hairy illusion with the uh, yarn right here. Made some little thread bows. Put some little scrappy pieces behind it just to coordinate color with the ears here. I used some of the same fabric and just twisted it up with a little crooked tail and then put the eyelash trim on top of that and couched that down. The greenery is a piece of trim that I have. Couched it down, put some little leaf shapes on. Same thing with the uh, flower. It's just a collaged flower layered up. Uh, some of the background fabric in the back, a piece of lace there, some little pieces of fabric, and then sewn down. And the little bird shape and wing sewn on. As you can see, all of those elements are just the fun part of playing with your cat and deciding what color eyes it's going to have. Is it going to have this big a shape eye? Are you going to are you going to cut that more eye shape or another shape, maybe a diamond shape in here, uh, squares, circles, anything will replicate eyes in here, okay? And what kind of ears are you going to give it? Big triangles or squares or circles or whatever kind of ears that you want to give it. Are you going to decorate it through here or not? You don't have to. Are you going to give it any kind of a uh, furry play? You don't have to. Uh, just making those decisions is a fun part. Once you've got the shape and the head, the, it's a done deal. The game's the, yours then because it's just playing now with adding your decorative ideas on top of it. Okay, doesn't that make it simple? Two shapes, a vase and an oval make this cat, okay? When you know and realize the basic shapes and you realize that you can make a big cat, you can make a little cat, you can make teeny weeny cats using the same basic shapes, just make them bigger little and start from there and then have fun. Play with all the other elements uh, just the way you want to, okay? Now I'm going to turn this long way so you get a... And then I'm going to give you a, a close-up. So you can see some of my uh, decisions a little closer. The eyes, the nose, the mouth the hair, the ears. A little hair showing on his, under his neck and his body. Catch that tail. The little haunches. See how cute they are. Can you see those little red hearts? Yeah. The flower and the bird. So fun to create little fun items like this. And anybody can do it. Um, you know, people look at it and I can never do that. I can never do that. Sure you can. If you know how to start. And now you know how to start. Oh, you're ahead of the game. And you can make your own fun cats. I hope you do. it, And I'd love to see them. So if you make some and uh, post them here on YouTube. Be sure to uh, tag me because I would love to come over and look at your cat. Remember, this is Katie, better known as Cutie. And she says the same thing I do. Remember what that is? Stay scrap happy.